Saskia, your deputy editor of Red Magazine, thanks so much for joining us today. So firstly, tell us a little bit about Red, Red Magazine and the secret of its success. I think at Red we're incredibly lucky because we have such smart readers. They are 30-something women, anything from late 20s probably up to mid 40s, but 30-something predominantly. They're clever, they're engaged, they're passionate about Red, they define themselves as Red women. They're as interested in a lipstick and a pair of shoes as they are in a debate around Syria. You know, they'll watch Newsnight, they'll watch The Voice. So it's a really involved, clever readership and they tell us what they love about the magazine and they also tell us when they're not happy. So they're a great audience. We were talking earlier about how important PRs are to the magazine, but tell us a little bit about how you would most like to work with them. I think with PRs it's important to have a relationship and it's important that um, it's not just a random PR ringing saying, what are you working on? It's someone who understands the brand, who knows what you're looking for and understands the reader. I suppose my pet hate, if I'm allowed one, is when PRs put the interns on the phone and they ring up clearly having never opened the magazine, asking about a section that doesn't exist. And we get a bit grumpy and that's not fair on the interns and it, and it just doesn't help anyone. So I think the most important thing is to have an ongoing relationship. Red is much more than just the magazine. I know you've got lots of developments, lots of things happening. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Red is its an exciting year for Red 2014 because it's all about the, the 360 experience. So we have Red Online, obviously, which is very successful. Um, we also have a growing events business. We have Red Network events. We have the Red Top Women Awards. So there's lots of opportunities, not just in print. There's a lot going on in the Red universe.